Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today uh, we will be talking about React Native uh, uh, in 2021. And what will happen, what will change uh, with React Native uh, framework. So uh, today I will uh, be talking about uh, the common changes. For example, uh, GSI, uh, JavaScript interface, Turbo modules, uh, fabric rendering infrastructure, Hermes engine on iOS. And first of all, I think uh, you know we need to talk about the fact that 2020 or 2020 was really boring, right? So uh, hopefully, React Native 2021 will uh, help us I and mean, help us to to React Native developers to have some kind of you know. Uh, excitement about the new year. So, uh, React Native uh, 2021 will, uh, you know, actually, uh, for example, your, there is a your interface a change, a upcoming change, but uh, it is actually act, uh, actively used uh, right now. But we don't see it because they uh, they haven't released all the details about React Native. I mean uh, the new changes uh, because uh, they are still evaluating and testing the features. So uh, in some time we will see all the changes are documented in uh, React Native official documentation. So uh, <coughs> for example, we we will have a JavaScript interface. What is JavaScript interface? Well, currently. Uh, React Native, uh, let me show you a diagram which is in Turkish right now. But uh, here is React Native, our React, this whole app is our React Native app. And the, as you know, React Native have two realms uh, one realm is a JavaScript, JavaScript realm, and uh, the other realm is Native realm. So uh, on the JavaScript side, we have you know, React JS and our app called G, uh, JavaScript. So, uh, and on the native side, we have helper uh, native components and native modules, and also view managers. So, how they are talking right now over the bridge? Uh, there is a bridge between them. Uh, so, uh, over the bridge, we are sending JSON data. So, uh, JSON data is a, a string based data. So, when we send data from here to here, or uh, vice versa, then we are ending up a huge long uh, JSON processing time. So, uh, which you know, which creates a bottleneck for us for our apps. So, uh, because of that, uh, currently with React Native, uh, you know, by using a pure JavaScript and React Native, we cannot develop audio applications, uh, video applications, because we have to send huge data over the bridge. So it is not possible right now. Uh, so. Uh, by using JavaScript interface, we will be able to call uh, di directly from JavaScript to native realm. So we are eliminating uh, the need for this bridge, uh, so which will help us to, you know, uh, to communicate uh, faster with two realms. Uh, but uh, the key point here is uh, this JavaScript interface is mostly used by library. Uh, developers, uh, of course, we will use, but it will be dependent on our app needs. I mean, our app, uh, because if it is you know audio app or video app, then it will be beneficial to buy to use. Uh, but most of app will not use uh, interface. It is mostly used by our libraries. Uh, but having this you know uh, performance optimization or change is really good. Who says no? So. Uh, the second change uh, will be on the Turbo modules side. Uh, right now, uh, our apps uh, on Android and iOS, uh, our native modules are uh, loaded and initialized during the startup time. Uh, and we, by, while doing that, uh, we are waiting for our libraries to initialize, then we can proceed to the next module then next module then next module, until uh, all modules are loaded and initialized then our app start so uh, which basically means uh, our app is waiting for uh, modules that are not used in the beginning of the app so uh, with turbo modules uh, we we will be 
uh, able to load in modules when we need. For example, when we need a vibration module, for uh, that at, at that time it will be loaded and initialized. Then we will be able to call vibration. So uh, we, we are uh, we are moving the <coughs> by moving uh, these uh, you know lay, lay, uh, loading. Uh, we will be able to make up our app uh, to start faster, uh, which is you know very helpful for us to increase customer satisfaction. Uh, also, also the in one important uh, in benefit of the using turbo modules is since we will not load the uh, modules that are not used in our app. You know, we will load them until uh, when we need. So we will be able to save some memory, uh, which means we will be able to have faster apps because you know we, when we use a lot of memory, then uh, the app will start trashing. You know, uh, because uh, we it will be moving from real memory to flash memory or something like that. I don't know how it works on iOS and Android. Uh, so uh, we will be able to store which uh, which part uh, part of our app inside the memory, so it our app will be faster. And uh, fabric rendering infrastructure. Uh, fabric rendering is a, currently our apps. Uh, we have shadow tree on our resource side and on this side because our react is here it has the shadow tree on just side so when we have our components uh, we are uh, react is creating a shadow tree from that and uh, detecting the change then creating a you know command to send over the bridge then native UI uh, part is parting the JSON, then doing the actual rendering. So, as you can imagine, it is uh, there is a bottleneck here, there is a bottleneck here, also there is a bottleneck here because we need to send uh, JSON data from here to here. Also, this is a huge tree, so uh, you have tend to, you know, uh, you use huge memory when we have a huge uh, data structure. So. As you can see, one, two, three uh, bottlenecks. When Fabric is released, uh, hopefully, because we are not sure that, uh, what will happen, but uh, according according to my you know investigation, uh, what will happen? React will be responsible from sending the changes to the native side, so that native side. You know, by using a job interface, so a native side will have a shadow tree, uh, and then this shadow tree will enable us to render the part that are changed on here. So uh, there is no, you know, bridge. So there is no JSON parting here. You know, uh, JSON parting here, JSON parting here. So there is no JSON parting. So. Uh, it will we will be also uh, the react shadow tree will be uh, a c plus plus shadow tree so that means uh, the memory usage will be uh, decreased a huge amount of wave memory will be decreased so which ov obviously means that our app will run faster uh, then also because you know uh, c plus plus is a little bit faster with huge data structure so we will gain a huge imp performance improvement here. Also, it will directly, uh, you know, uh, it directly call native UI because after uh, parting na the you know data from here, we will not actually directly call native UI. Uh, there, the you know some uh, some data structure construction than a native UI is called, but. Uh, at here we will be directly calling the native UI because this uh, shadow tree structure will have the need uh, required uh, classes or uh, structures to render the, the actual rendering. So uh, <coughs> fabric rendering will help us to uh, have you know faster rendering, uh, which obviously means that our app will. Uh, you know, react very fast uh, to our, for example, when we click something, it will rea react very fast. So it will be, it will uh, render uh, almost uh, close to the real rendering uh, performance. 
properly. So next one is uh, Hermes engine on iOS. Uh, so actually, uh, currently we have Hermes engine on Android side, but uh, the, at December uh, I don't know when uh, I can I can remember when uh, Hermes engine uh, informed everybody uh, everyone that uh, Hermes engine will be supported on iOS too. So what does it mean? Hermes engine, think about that. You are developing for Android uh, on Hermes engine and you are developing for Jobs Core on the iOS side. So they are different. Uh, by enabling the same uh, Jobs engine on iOS and Android uh, and you know, Hermes engine developed by Facebook, React is developed by Facebook, which obviously means that some you know, performance optimization which will help React uh, be applied to Hermes engine so that we will, uh, you know, we will be, uh, we will have uh, a faster, uh, perform uh, you know, we will have fast performance on the React side, also uh, the Jobs engine side, because it, the Hermes engine will have the mindset of I am running React, uh, so. Uh, it will, you know, it will perform faster with React Native applications uh, than comparing to your core. Hopefully, uh, on that side also. But uh, I feel that it will happen. Also, uh, it will help us to, you know, uh, your score because your score and Hermes engine is different. Uh, when we develop for Android, uh, for example, when we develop something, uh, then if, if something is working on iOS. That that there was you know, a slight change chance of uh, not running on Android, but it, it was a slight uh, chance. Right now, uh, because you know uh, the uh, your Hermes engine, your engine is same, which means if, if something is running here, it will run at the other platform. So we will be able to figure out the problems earlier uh, than later. So it will be. A huge boost for our uh, developer confidence. So, as you can see, uh, there will be really exciting changes on the React Native side in 2021, uh, hopefully. And uh, see you at the next videos. Uh, don't subscribe to my channel so that you can get a uh, cool news about React Native, Flutter, or you know. Uh, computer uh, software related uh, videos. Bye.